So let's talk about some of the exterior features of your vehicle. Over here on the rear passenger side, we've got these two rectangular boxes. The one on the left, this has got an outlet inside where you can plug something in externally. And the one on the right has an HDMI port and a coax cable. This is where you can actually hook up an outdoor television. And now whatever's playing on the front TV is what's going to play on this TV that you hook up at. And then you're going to use the exterior speaker to get your audio. Right below, we have this long cylindrical tube. This tube contains the drain hose or the dump hose for the tank system. You're simply going to remove the cap on the end, pull the hose completely out, and take it over to the driver's side of the vehicle to do your dumping. So, on the rear driver's side of the vehicle, down at the bottom we have the drain. So we're going to simply twist to remove the cap. We're going to attach the hose, twist and lock it into place. Then you're going to put the other end of the hose into the dump. You're going to pull the black handle out. That's going to release the black tank. Everything is going to whoosh on out down the hose. Once it's finished, you're going to shove that handle back in. Then you're going to pull the gray handle, release everything in the gray tank. Once that's empty, you're going to shove that handle back in. If you wish to clean out the tanks, you're going to use these two black inlets here. These correspond to the handles below. The one on the left is for the gray. one on the right is for the black. Attach a standard garden hose. Turn the hose on, and that's going to force water directly in that tank to help flush it out. You want to make sure you have the handle pulled before you turn the hose on so that you don't overflow the tank. Then we have the two connections that have chrome around them. One says city, one says fresh. The city connection. This is primarily for use at campgrounds and RV parks, somewhere where you can connect directly to a water source and be hooked up at all times. This is going to be an on-demand water that's going to go directly to the sink or toilet, bypassing the fresh tank entirely. You wouldn't even need to use your water pump because that would be pressurized water coming directly into the system. Normally what you're going to do is use the freshwater connection to fill your tank. So you're going to hold the large piece in the back, remove the small piece in the front, attach your standard garden hose right here, turn on the hose and run the water until it physically starts coming out underneath the vehicle. That's how you'll know it's full. There's an overflow, overflow valve on top of the tank. Once you have that, you're going to turn off the water, disconnect the hose, then your tank's filled up and ready to go.